Pakchan is really what Vegeta should have been. Let me explain. Welcome to the objective review of My Hero Academia Heroes Rises and this will be a non-spoiler review and a spoiler review. I just have a few spoiler thoughts at the end there so stick around. And in objective review I break a movie down into six categories and assign weights to them depending on the genre to have the most honest unbiased objective review as possible. So let's start with the first category of story. The Hero Work Recommendation Project. You'll be stationed here on Nabu Island in southern Japan. While you're there, you'll be completely on your own. In the story, it involves Class 1A. They're on this work assignment as actual heroes, and they are just uh, have a hero group over this small island that is relatively, you know, normal. There's no villains on the island until, of course, evil bad guy shows up. I don't remember the guy's name. That's really not important, but he was a pretty good bad guy. I feel like this movie does a really good job avoiding some of those pitfalls that other anime movies have because one of the issues is that these movies are not necessarily canon. I mean, they are canon, but they are fairly inconsequential. And so sometimes it takes with the stakes of, of the movie. And that's the biggest, I think, hurdle that they have. But this movie does a good job of jumping over those hurdles because one, our heroes are on an island by themselves no pro heroes to support them so that already raises the stakes a little bit and also the villain here has very very similar powers to all for one so you have a really powerful villain to go up against and you have really no safety net to support you also what this movie manages to do is that the characters do grow a little bit especially in their relationships this movie is really about you know when it says heroes rise it's really about two heroes and that's bakugo and deku and how the relationship is after Deku uh, shares Bakugo everything about one for all and all for one and that was a real joy to see because I do think this movie took a lot of steps to further that story along. When I say that Bakugo is a better Vegeta I feel like he is the perfect rival for Deku. Those two actually push each other to be better, not just better fighters, but to be better heroes. They both have things that they excel at and they both have things they're not great at, but if they can kind of just join up together and learn from each other, they can both become even better heroes. So the story gets an eight out of 10, and this is on to emotion. Oh, 100%! If I can't protect those two, then I can't call myself a hero! There's really not all that much motion in here. In My Hero Academia, the anime, the show does a really good job with emotion very, very often. Um, it feels a little bit forced here, and I guess that's how it has to be. I mean, this movie shouldn't have that many consequences, and oftentimes that's where a lot of the emotion comes from in My Hero. But it doesn't lack emotion. It does have a really great moment towards the end there that does feel really impactful, and even though you know you know, that this isn't gonna have huge ramifications on things, it still feels impactful. And it's, you still feel the character giving their all. You still, you still feel the character uh, just really down and down in the dumps here. But there's only one moment. So emotion gets a seven and a half out of 10. That's on to action. We won't stop now. I'll blast this villain with everything I've got. Detroit. The action in this was absolutely amazing. I have no qualms at all with the action in this. Uh, some of my highlights, Bakugo, he really gets to cut loose, which we haven't really seen Bakugo cut loose probably since uh, since the tournament, the Hero Festival, uh, whatever that was called. Because I mean, he's been like kidnapped a couple times and really he's been having to be saved. But here he gets to cut completely loose and it's just, it's never been this amped up before. And of course, Deku provides a lot of actions. The villains in this, I think, do a really good job of just raising the stakes, like I said before, but they all seem really powerful. Like, the heroes have to give it their all, and they absolutely do. The action is amazing. Gets a 10 out of 10. This is on to comedy. Continue to count all you. I'm on the way. What kind of hero would you want to be? I'd want to be a super strong one. The comedy here comes really from character interaction because we as the audience know these characters and it's just funny to see them interact with each other. Bakugo to me is the funniest character because he really doesn't try. That's just his character. He's just loud and obnoxious 
and you know he's working on you know becoming a better hero but when he when he talks about killing and murdering people for some reason i find it hilarious i'm sure everyone else does too i do think this movie could have done a better job of holding back some of that comedy there's a couple moments there where we're kind of deep into the plot deep into some really crucial moments and just hits with a little bit of comedy where i felt like it didn't need to so comedy gets a seven and a half out of ten that's on to acting playtime is over i finally found it the voice work here is really good i have no complaints my hero does a really great job with their voice talent just really good work i don't think there's really that many standouts but there's no one does terrible at all everyone Brings her A game, so it's gonna get seven and a half out of ten. That's on to directing. Our dream will become a reality. The new world that we fought to build, I can almost see it. The animation looked absolutely beautiful. Again, the action sequences were directed so well. There were some moments where they did some stylistic exaggeration, but I think it really, really worked. Sometimes those things can fall flat, but I think they just seemed it really well in with their, you know, more, their more regular animation, but beautifully done. The score, My Hero always has a really good score. They did reuse a score, a, a song, specifically a song that they use in the overhaul arc, which I don't mind because that song's absolutely beautiful. And you sort of get an extended version of that. So directing it's a nine out of 10, that brings a weight average score to an 8.5 out of 10. And in terms of how much I actually liked the film, or love the film, it's like a nine or nine and a half out of 10. I I have to see it again. I have to get this on Blu-ray when it comes out, rewatch it a couple different times. I had an absolute blast with this film. Like this was, as a My Hero fan, this was like watching any other big time superhero film. All right, onto a few spoiler talks. First of all, that Dark Shadow guy, I don't know his name. I don't know all his people's names. I, I know I just said I'm a My Hero fan, but there's like, nine different characters they all have last names and first names and they have hero names just too many to keep up with dark shadow guy he has hands i've never seen his hands before that weirded me out like where does the feathers begin and the human body ends or begins it's just just weird like it took me weirdly out of the movie because i'm just thinking about the anatomy of it and the biggest thing that happened in this movie one for all deku gave one for all to bakugo what an amazing freaking moment like i cheered in the theater and it looked good it looked it looked amazing like bakugo's version it's pretty much like bakugo and deku were both going freaking super saiyan like it was just beautiful love to, I, I can't even really explain and put the right words to just how amazing that moment is like i said bakugo had a chance to go above and beyond and he did now i do think it's kind of cheap that he just forgot uh, in watching the movie i figured that he was going to give it back to deku and that would be his testament of like i don't need this power like i'll do it on my own power like i could easily see that moment happening but then you get into the logistics of how one for all works because would if, if bakugo gave it back to deku would deku then have the explosion power because like every power is kind of passed on and then you can't just go into the next season or in the next episode oh hey now Deku has explosion powers too well when did that happen we'll go watch the movie so hey you know what? I'm fine with just saying that Bakugo just had a temporary power up it was amazing nonetheless I mean, it's still weird that he just forgot about it and I, you know I kind of hate that he forgot about it I'm fine that it just naturally goes back to Deku and he lost consciousness before it fully took over but I like that I like the progression that Deku and Bakugo went on here. Like they trusted each other fully. And I think Bakugo forgetting that is uh I just hope that he wouldn't forget it. Granted that gives him, you know, more more time to go and do that in the show. The one moment that I did speak about before about being emotional was when, you know, All Might and Deku, you know, All Might's just holding Deku and Deku tells him, like, I'm sorry, like I had to give up all, I had to give up uh, one for all. And Deku feels very, very remorse, remorseful. And I just really enjoy that moment. And the, you know, the way All Might says like, you know, you did, you did absolutely everything right. Absolutely love that moment. 
But overall, I freaking love this film. And I had a really great time in the theater. It was, it was a really great theater experience because I live in a, compared to like big cities and stuff, I don't live in a big city. So I went to the theater, I was just happy to have the show time. It's like, oh, you know what, might not be a lot of people there. But the theater was packed, it was really cool to just like sit with like, these are nerds. Like those people who see, you know, Avengers day one or whatever, those might not be real nerds because you know, everybody sees movies day one, but like these are actual anime fans and it was just really cool to be there with all of them. So yeah, it's fun. All right, so what did you think about My Hero Academia, Heroes Rises? What was your favorite moments? What was your favorite characters? Uh, how would you rate it? And you know, just let me know. And if you guys some of this video, please like, comment, and consider subscribing. And sincerely, thank you for watching. I'm out.